Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Asha Bullington, and this is Team of the Week, presented by your local Houston area Geico agents in Cypress Spring, Pearland, and East Houston. The high tower hurricanes might have had the biggest win in the greater Houston area last week as they defeated Texas powerhouse the Manville Mavericks 16 to 12 on the road, giving them a 2 and 0 district record for the 2021 season, as well as putting District 10 5A Division 1 on notice. There's a new power vying for that district championship. Uh, defense had a, they had, they did a great job. They stung Manville a lot. They had our back. We had, we had their back. So when we had to go score points, we made sure we did that. When we needed to stop, they made sure they got to stop for it. So we just, it was a defense a game. You know, defense win championships. So I'm glad defense came out and did what they had to do. I, I would just like to say that, you know, whenever you play a historically great programs such as Manville and you know you think about how good they have been over the years I think the stat was three loss three district losses in the past 10 years for us to be able to compete at a high level and you know get the win is it, it says a lot about our team it says a lot about our character the Hurricanes are in a stage of transition with new head coach Cornelius Anthony taking over the program but they haven't skipped a beat, with the leadership of the team buying into the program shift, taking the four pillars of their program to heart and striving for perfection to meet excellence. One of the things or the culture that we're trying to create at Hot Tower is the culture of excellence. And we do that with our four pillars, class, character, I am second and the second mile. Those are the four pillars of excellence. And the, the kids are buying in and they're starting to see the fruit of believing in not only the pillars of excellence, but each other and, and believing in this staff. And so when it all comes together, you know, we're able to take on great programs, well-coached programs, very talented programs like the Mambles of our state or, or of 5A football in general and, you know, do, do the impossible. So I'm, I'm very proud of our program. I'm very proud of our boys. And I'm, I'm proud of High Tower High School. You know, I'm just proud of our, our program and everything that we're trying to accomplish uh, at High Tower. Both of my brothers had went here, so it just made me fall into it. I just, cause my brother had went to, when they went to state, my brother was on the team. So, you know, I just wanted to fall into that footstep and try to get back to state too, so. Yeah, these a lot cause like, you know, like they, I know I, I moved over here to go to High Tower because when I moved over here in like 2010, they were like going to state almost every year. So, like, when I ended up becoming like, you know, like actually being able to go to like be able to high, going to high school and like being at High Tower, I was like, yeah, my, my, like, my goal is to get back where they was at, is going all the state and all that and breaking the stereotypes that we're just athletes, we're just, athletic we don't have discipline so like yeah that's basically what it is for their bond will and performance on the field the high tower hurricanes have earned our local greater houston area guy co-agents team of the week congrats once again to our team of the week for all of their accomplishments on and off the gridiron team of the week is presented by your local houston area guy co-agents in cypress spring Pearland, and east houston to get more information or a quote go to geico.com forward slash houston and come back every monday to see who takes the team of the week honors